Hello, David Zaretsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. That music and the surrounding means that I am in the airport. Yes, I am in Newark Liberty International Airport, and I'm not heading out, unfortunately, on a Bond experience or a Bond vacation. I'm heading out on a business trip, but that doesn't mean that I can't have Bond fun. In fact, this video is about having Bond experiences even when you're working, even when you're on a business trip. And I'm gonna show you how to insert these moments, these tiny little moments that create experiences in the work day travel that we often have. In fact, if you take a look, hold on. I've got my Bond backpack. I've got my carry-on luggage. I've got my Bond watch on and a whole accoutrements of things. But you're gonna come and explore and we're gonna be going over how do you be like Bond on a business trip? Let's head out. Okay, so when I lay down in bed and I look up at the ceiling, this is what it says. Good news, it's almost time to drink coffee again. So that's something I'm going to wake up to tomorrow. And then everything's looking up. Very positive messages. We'll see the coffee. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty early. It's uh, like 4.30 in the morning. Before you feel bad that I'm up and at him, uh, I'm in Phoenix. So there's a three hour time difference. I was awake a while ago, boink. As you can imagine, most days I get up at like 4 a.m. East Coast time, which is like one in the morning here. So I actually slept in. So don't feel bad for me, Argentina. Um, but the first thing I do on a business trip, and this is the being like Bond moment. And it's one of these things that, you know, remember Inspector, when she goes, do you work out? And he goes, when I have to, Bond has to work out. He's gotta be in shape, and so do you. It's not just the body, it's not just vanity, it's not just self-love and self-care, I swear. It's about psychology. And it's not just the psychological aspects of feeling great after workout. There's all that proven science of endorphins flooding through you and feeling great. But think about it. You're about to go out into a business meeting and do for others. You're going to be performing. There's going to be clients. There's going to be stressful moments, I promise. So working out in the morning helps to even out and align your whole psyche before the day. And it gives you a competitive edge. And that is Bond. Bond, you know, has to be in the best performance shape of his life. And if you're taking care of the mind and product knowledge and whatever you have to do for your your business, your company, your job, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a corporation. It could be anything. You also have to take care of your physicality. And so here I was in the gym, lifting weights, uh, doing push-ups, things like that. I couldn't record this, this speaking to moment, because quite frankly, there were people in there, which I was shocked, like four in the morning. So they're clearly East Coasters, but Obviously, I feel great. It's a being like Bond moment, but there is something a little bit extra, all right? When you're doing these workouts, you can actually emulate some of the actors 
workout regimens. I know you can kind of follow those things, which, you know, do a little bit of study on what some of the Bond actors have done. And, you know, just take a moment to be in a strange gym, in a strange place and experiment. Like that's not what my home gym looks like. This is not what my home gym looks like. Clearly it's mine is much more Spartan, but I'm sitting there experimenting with different weights. Actually, what I did was before I came here, I researched the different workouts that some of the Bond actors did, and I'm embedding them into every morning when I work out as a little James Bond moment and treat. So it's not just the fact of working out. It's not. It's about experimenting and putting those little Bond moments one moment at a time slash tagline. But we're not done. See, I'm in Phoenix, like I told you. It's like 65 degrees. Here it is early in the morning. It's going to get up to 91. So being outside, no. I will be schwitzing and just every pore in my body will open up. So what I'm going to do right now is get a little cardio. You know, when I, when I lift, I, I, I go really quick and things like that. So I get a little cardio, but I actually want to explore. And there are beautiful mountains out there, which I can't see because it's dark. But I'm going to go take a walk. Just seems like the right thing to do. And again, it's that fresh aloof. Germans know it all too well. Fresh aloof, fresh air. And that is another thing like being like Bonn. Bonn was brought up in Europe and he spent time in Switzerland. And everybody knows about fresh aloof, getting fresh air to help healing. And I'm not going to go all crystals and mambo jambo on you. I promise you. This is not that channel. <laughs> but I'm saying a little bit of fresh air before you embed yourself into a boardroom all day. It's important. Let's do it. Okay, I'm outside right now. You're going to notice a couple things. First of all, it's still kind of dark. You see that peak over there? That is my goal. That is a mountain. I'm not going to make it, um, but I'm going to try. There is a clear pathway. It's in a very nice area. You're not James Bond, so you've got to be very conscious of the areas that you're walking. Uh, yeah, because I'm a pacifist. I don't know if you know anything about me. But one of the things you're going to notice is I'm not wearing earbuds. First of all, I want to be very aware of my surroundings. Very swanky area in Phoenix, but you just want to be aware. Plus, I also want to hear the sounds. I mean, there's birds chirping. There's also an alarm going off, which seems appropriate for this channel. But um, I am going to be walking this way and we're walking and we're, I feel I need an umbrella. Uh, but I'm going to be heading to that peak over there, you could see we're not quite at sunrise. So what I'm hoping to see is the beautiful Arizona sunrise. And how do I do that when I'm blasting, you know, Duel of the Fates from Star Wars? Just, it's difficult. So I'm going to listen, be aware, keep aware, but still have a great time taking it all in. So one of the things I wanted to make mention as I walk down the street is Bond is all about the right equipment. And I've got to talk about what I'm wearing for this walk, for my exercise. I've got a Uniqlo Airism t-shirt. Airism breathes extremely well. That's what it's there for. And I've got a pair of Athleta pants. Uh, again, they're for working out. They cinch at the bottom. And my, <laughs> my shoes, if you want to even call them shoes, are called Fit Kicks. Look them up on Amazon. They're, let's see if I can do this, hold on a second. They're entirely inadequate for this walk, but they're great for plane rides, look how thin they are. And for working out in the morning, they give you a really great placement. You stay where you are. They come in a lot of different colors, not just this. They look almost like slippers, but they've got a little bit of a sole. They're not great for walking. Yeah, as I'm finding out, as I'm finding out as I slip. Okay, cardiovascular done. Absolutely beautiful out there. The sky, the wind, the views, amazing. I feel great. You can see I'm alive. One cup of coffee, that's all I've had. But of course, now it's time to get dressed for the day. And lest you think that's not a bond moment, <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Let's do it. So being like Bond on a business meeting trip like this means being resourceful. Oh, look at the fish. Neat. Uh, so one of the things is I've got a linen jacket. Yeah, 
It's everybody's favorite. It's the Brunello Cuccinelli one. I'm going to be wearing it for today, but it is really wrinkled. I mean, you can see it's been packed away. So what I'm going to be doing is instead of ironing it, because you can kind of iron more wrinkles into a linen jacket, I'm actually going to be taking a shower, I know, and letting the steam do all the work. Let's give it a try. So all we're going to do is take this and find a hook, hang it up, and then let the steam do all the work. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they were placed right out of history. From the sound of bedrock, they were placed right out of history. All right, all clean. Uh, and just like that, look at that. Not bad, maybe a little touch with the iron, but nothing uh nothing like it was before thanks to good old-fashioned steam now that's good james bond resourcefulness okay i am showered steamed shaved the whole nine yards ready to go but this is arguably one of the ways that anybody can create a bond experience you don't need a particular label or style it is all around mindset now first of all this is proof that I'm in my hotel room. There's the unmade bed. Housekeeping hasn't even come yet because I'm getting ready for the day. And getting ready for the day is a big part of what I wanted to talk about because it is Phoenix, Arizona. It is 95 degrees and it's just mid-morning, which means it's going to be hot. There's a rooftop dinner and cocktails. I'm painting the setting for the business meeting. Now, it is business casual, but people wear jackets. A lot of people are going to be wearing their worsted wool, navy blazers. There's nothing wrong with a good navy blazer. They're some of my favorite people, but not in this heat. So what I did was I went for seersucker. Now look up and close, folks. I'm showing you the details of this pattern because this, let me pull back, is a seersucker suit. Matching pants, matching jacket. It's half structured, half not. And as you could tell from the label, it's Olibar Brown. Olibar Brown picked this up uh, just at the end of last year in London, part of their new line. And I thought, this is it. This is when I wear this seersucker suit. Fits great. And I mean, it stretches. I'll be sitting down for a long time, hearing people, then getting up, shaking hands, having a cocktail. I've paired it. Don't adjust your color. This is a pink Sunspell Riviera Polo. I know, sometimes sales get the best of me. And this is a pink one, but it's perfect because it breaks up. I was going to wear a white Sunspell Polo. It's a little too stark. And I thought that the pink with the blue was absolutely perfect. No pocket handkerchief, I'm going very casual. My only question is, uh, there's no belt on here, right? There's just kind of a, a tie. Do I tuck it in or do I not tuck it in? I probably will tuck it in with a little bit of a bloop fold and then I'll be set. I can hold my phone in here without it looking too encumbering. But later on, if it gets too hot around cocktail hour, they say it's going to go casual. So I can take this off and I've got a great Riviera Polo. It breathes extremely well. And I've got these great navy seersucker pants on. Oh, hold on a second. I almost forgot the most important part. My Kraken and Joe's 60th anniversary, Hamilton's. Why am I going over all this? Because this is part of being Bond. And you have to consciously think about what is your environment? What are the temperatures that you're going to be, let's just face it, Arizona, subjected to in heat where you don't want to be like schwitzing and just, you know, melting in the sun. You want to be that person that looks cool, belonging, and still buttoned up. That seersucker is going to do it. This Riviera Polo breathes really well. And because you didn't want to know all the details, but I'm going to give them to you anyway, I'm wearing Airism Uniqlo Undersquares, underwear. And that's because this is why you came for this channel. It wicks away the moisture. Not that I'm saying I'm going to have any moisture down there, Mom. It's clean underwear, and I wrote my name in it, so don't worry about it. Get on my back. No, this is something just, again, thinking ahead. How do I stay cool under pressure? Is there anything more Bond than that? And yes, I threw in some Bond brands. I've got the Olibar Brown, which is clearly a Bond brand. I've got the Riviera Polo. 
clearly a Bond brand. I've got the Crockett and Jones, again, a Bond brand. And of course, to finish it off, and this is, this is a part of the whole mental thing that we go through, I've got my Quantum of Solace Omega watch because of confidence, because I'm gonna go out and have conversations with people I've never met and mingle, you know, representing my company as the president. So I, I've got to like really be attuned. And this watch gives me confidence. It makes me, again, it's that whole little escapism. That's a part of a business meeting. This thing has been staring at me all night. It glows. I just found out this morning how to shut it off, but it's been glowing at me, probably just saying things that it shouldn't say as an inanimate object. But now you know you're in Arizona when there's kind of like a longhorn on here. Listen, I'd love to keep chatting, but I gotta get to a meeting. Talk to you later. Okay, it's evening time. We're going to a rooftop bar. So one of the things I did was I kept on my seersucker pants that I showed you earlier, but I got out of it to put in an all bar brown polo. It is silk and cotton, so it wicks away, it breathes really well, and I'm gonna be cool because it just went from business to a little bit more casual. This is how we exchange. I'm keeping this on, keeping my boots on, and we're heading upstairs. Okay, so it's day two of this national sales meeting, and it's a little bit more casual of a day, so I am not wearing a full suit, even though, let's face it, the, uh, the one that I wore yesterday, which was seersucker, wasn't quite the traditional suit. But today I've gone blazer or sports jacket, and yes, it's one of everybody's favorites. It's the Brunello Cuccinelli Spectre one. Sorry about the mic breaking it up, but it's linen. And again, the heat she is a coming. So we had that evening event. It was warm, but it was palatable because of the fabric that I chose. Bond, as much as people might not say he's a clothes horse, certainly understands the environments that he's in. So today I'm wearing a blue navy sunspell polo. Now it's not the Riviera. It's actually a Sea Island cotton. It's thinner than air, super soft. I have a Crockett and Jones belt to match my Crockett and Jones Hamilton boots like I wore yesterday. I've got puppy tooth Uniqlo pants, which kind of creates a little bit of a pattern because these are solid colors. I've got the Brunella Cuccinelli, like I told you, very lightweight, little place for my glasses. And I'm a minimalist, minimal, 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 minimal. David can't talk because it's the morning and the coffee hasn't hit. Minimalist, all right? And I've got my Quantum of Solace. It's the only watch I brought. I've got that, but I can, easily transform this, take this off, and now I'm wearing a polo and pants. The belt, I'm definitely wearing the belt today to break this up. Otherwise, you got these kind of two dark colors meeting each other, and it just, it just doesn't look right. So I am talking style, um, but these are Bond brands. I, I don't think I need to tell you. So these are these invisible moments that we've talked about for well over a decade where you can go into a national sales meeting with hundreds of people and blend in. Nobody's going to look at me and go, that guy's cosplaying. He's got some Daniel Craig brands going on there. I see what you're doing, Zeritsky. I mean, if they know me, they know me. But in this particular case, it's a situation of blending in an invisible moment seamlessly. But this is the long day. This is from Eight in the morning, the meeting starts until six in the evening and then dinners. So there's no stopping back at the room. I've got to be comfortable the whole time. Bond under pressure, being Bond, wearing the Bond style and clothing and having that little mental escape valve that we all need when, when your mind starts to wander, but you've got to focus and you say, you know something, today's the day, I got it. I'm doing the Bond thing. Here's my escape valve. Here's the biggest escape valve. So we're gonna head out there. We'll come back to you, talk about how everything went. Still being like Bond. Wow. So one of the things you wanna do when you're away on business is to also eat local, like this place in Phoenix that serves really good Southwestern authentic Mexican, and of course, live music as well. This is the most horrifying nightlife in the world. Just tell it.
Okay, now I'm on a totally different trip. I'm actually heading to Chicago right now. I'm in the United Club in Newark Airport. It's a pretty nice club. It's brand new. It's been renovated, which is always nice to try. Got my usual scrambled eggs. I'm gonna get some Prosecco probably. That's a little bit about if you can enjoy these things. And, and a lot of the times you don't even have to be club members. You can actually buy day passes anywhere from $20 to $59. You've got to really kind of equate, does it make sense? Do you have at least an hour and a half to enjoy the amenities? And if you do, you want to enjoy the amenities. You can tell that this meeting, this business trip that I'm on now is a little different than the last one that you just saw that we came from because now it's the big show. I'm going to a urology convention where urologists from all around the world are going to be gathering as well as my clients and i'm a little bit more formal i'm wearing my specter suit from tom ford i've got a turnbull sea island cotton shirt i've got a jb bespoke kerchief pocket square i've got my specter omega watch to go with this and crockett and joan boots i'm going to be putting on a tie when i get there you'll see but you know this is about elevation so the fact that we're going to be seeing the clients clients and target audience i know that i've got to be suited and booted a little bit more but that's part of the fun that's part of the whole idea of just stopping short of cosplay knowing that i'm going to be wearing some bond kit on me but having that invisible bond moment but when we get to chicago i'm going to talk to you about some fun that you can have on a business trip the whole being bond when it comes to discussions with people and your targeted audience. Key word being targeted. Let's go. Well, another day down at the convention, and um, it was good. It was really good. There was a lot of discussion with our clients and their clients. What was interesting was there was kind of drinking it in, making sure that our clients have a leg up to the competition, which was a very bond moment, just kind of going around, observing, you know, kind of the other groups, if you will, drinking it all in. That's good spy tactics right there. And we did that. What I loved about it was just connecting with others and keeping, not a guise. You always have to be yourself when it comes to business. I'm a big proponent of that. But just making sure that you're gathering all the intelligence and information to make an informed choice. For example, I'm a president of an agency and one of the things that the agency does is it helps the client think about what do we do for next year? How do we make improvements? You know, how do we zig when they're zagging? That all comes from good data and insights and intelligence. And that's James Bond gathering intelligence. And that's exactly what you can do. And by the way, you don't have to be in marketing to do it. We're part of an agency or at a convention. You can do it in any walks of life. There was also some great moments where people are all dressed up. And of course, if you're Bond, you're kind of, you've got that swagger. You've got that level of confidence that you're exuding. So all those things can be like Bond when you're on a business trip. Well, listen, I'm actually going to get changed right now for dinner, but I thought you might enjoy this video because truly there are different things. The Bond spigot doesn't need to be shut off just because you are on a business trip. 
Au contraire, mon frère, you can actually do quite a few things that really circle the bond world when you're on the clock, the company clock, so to speak. All right. In the meantime, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. I'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.